State Bank of India is an Indian multinational financial conglomerate with a legacy of over 200 years. Now, the bank has a strong portfolio of distinctive products and services and leverages technology to deliver and manage them in a personalised and customer-centric way. With an asset size of $658 billion and a customer base of $468 million, those are some big numbers. The SBI is the largest bank in India. The bank is leading in the digital transformation drive to serve an increasingly digital India through its omni-channel mobile interface, Yono, Y-O-N-O. -O. And we're delighted to be joined in the studio by Mrs. Vidya Krishnan, who's the Deputy Managing Director at SBI. Welcome to Cyboss Television. And have you had a good Cyboss so far? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, thank you so much uh, for having me here. And yes, after, uh, you know, two years, uh, of COVID, I think it's quite refreshing to be in the midst of uh, the community of, uh, you know, um, techno businesses. And uh, yes, we've had a great time here. Thank you. Fantastic. And thank you for being with us in the studio. When you look back at COVID and the impact of the pandemic, how do you think it's actually changing things in, in, in India with the banking system? Uh, what we've seen is that uh, uh, COVID has uh, helped, you know, migrate uh, our customers to digital channels. So the focus now is uh, on digitization. And, uh, uh, and of course, uh, it also brings with it, uh, you know, a, a responsibility on uh, ensuring that we give our customers the best digital experience. And that's what we are working towards. You did mention YONO. So whether it was YONO 1.0 uh, 1 or now we are looking at UNO 2.0. It's all around uh, digital experiences uh, that we are attempting. And uh, that calls for a lot of collaboration. Uh, you have uh, different communities. You have the large big techs, you have fintechs. So it's our endeavor to be more collaborative so that uh, we can offer the best experience to our customers. Uh, speaking about that customer experience, what are your views on the digital customer experience and its associated business benefits? Uh, we've seen uh, uh, a lot of uh, digitization around payments. We've seen uh, digitization for uh, the small and medium enterprises. Um, it's all about, uh, uh, you know, uh, instant is a buzzword today. So uh, how do we... Uh, uh, how do we offer uh, experiences that are instant, end-to-end -end digitized journeys? So um, I think that's where it's all going. And uh, uh, as I did mention, that uh, to, uh, YONO 2.0 is about creating as many end-to-end -end digitized journeys as possible. Mm. And from your perspective, how do you think the payments innovation, the concept, is actually changing the banking landscape because it has been quite radical, hasn't it? Yes, I, we've seen that, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, digitization around the payment space. And uh, you would have heard of UPI. Uh, it's um, uh, across the world, it's making a buzz. And uh, uh, UPI has been, uh, uh, you know, nearly 60% of our uh, payment transactions are all routed through the uh, UPI now. And our bank, State Bank of India, uh, has got a good market share there, around 20%. In fact, uh, very recently we, you know, achieved this milestone of uh, having done 100 million transactions in a day. So that's how uh, the payments is going and there's a lot of innovation and this is just, uh, we are all in the process. I'm sure we'll have uh, uh, more journeys, uh, especially on the payment front. We've mentioned some huge numbers there, and you can certainly see the benefits for, for banks. But how, uh, tell us about some of the, the, the benefits that come to small businesses where, within digitization. So payments and transactions form the lifeline of, uh, of small businesses too. And uh, I think going forward, uh, you know, the theme even in this cybers has been around cross-border. And we do hope that we'll be able to create the same, uh, you know, experiences uh, on cross-border uh, remittances uh, for uh, our uh, individual customers as well as for our small and medium uh, businesses. Um, uh, that, that would uh, really benefit uh, small businesses. Another thing is uh, 
as far as India is concerned, there's been quite some uh, innovations happening there. So if UPI was about democratizing the payment platform, we have uh, democratized uh, data through uh, the account aggregator mechanism where data can flow interoperably. And now it's about uh, the open network for digital commerce, which will actually digitize commerce. And uh, this will bring in uh, huge benefits for our small and medium enterprises by actually getting them all into the formal credit mechanism, which I feel is going to be a, a, a game changer as far as India is concerned. And uh, I'm sure our bank will play a very, very active role there. Well, so much going on, and it certainly seems like you guys are ahead of it. Uh, sadly, that's all the time we have here uh, to speak on the subject. But thank you so much for joining us here on Cybos TV. For our final day of Cybos 2022, uh, Mrs. Vidya Krishnan, Deputy Managing Director at SBI. Thanks once again. <laughs>